What's up everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm back with a brand new video for you and I'm going to be showing you some Play-Doh life hacks. Now this video is actually part of a Play-Doh collab that I'm doing with my friend Jimmy from Just Jimmy C. So make sure you go ahead and check out his video after this one. It'll be linked in the description box below and let him know that I sent you as well. And go ahead and like this video for me and subscribe to my channel to become a unicorn and let's get started, shall we? Okay, so for the first Play-Doh life hack I have for you all today, I'm going to show you how you can completely rejuvenate an old and crusty looking piece of Play-Doh or the whole thing. So I'm just going to go ahead and start off by breaking the Play-Doh in half so I can show you a before and after. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is, you see how this is all flaky and if you play with it, you know, it just gets everywhere because it's so dry already because it's pretty old. I've had this for a while. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and flatten it out first and I'm going to take a couple of drops of water and I'm going to put that on there and then I'm going to go ahead and condition it with the water in there. Now I'm going to do this a couple of times until I get the perfect consistency and until the play-doh looks like it's basically brand new. Now, um, the reason that this works so well is because it is restoring moisture back into the Play-Doh itself, and so that is what makes Play-Doh the perfect, like, play texture, I guess, is how moist it is, and look at that. It's completely rejuvenated, and it looks like new, pretty much. Good as new. So you'll see here the before and after. So the before is on the left hand side. That is the crusty one that is really, really dry. And the right one is the one that I just, you know, rejuvenated with the water and it looks amazing. And it even felt better as well. It was so crazy. Alrighty, so for the next Play-Doh life hack, I'm going to show you how you can make a makeshift phone stand to like hold your cell phone up. If you're watching a movie or something, you can use this. Now, you don't have to even let this dry, so it's pretty convenient. You can just prop this up whenever if you have Play-Doh lying around, you know what I mean? So the first um, kind of shape that I'm going to show you is basically just a U-shape. So um, I just kind of made a U-shape with the Play-Doh just like this here, and then I just kind of flattened the bottom so it will sit down um, flatly. And then you can just go ahead and put that down and press your phone into it and it should prop up and you can also make this kind of shape here. I'm going to show you another shape you can make. Um, you want to start off with a U shape as well and then kind of bring out the front of it. I can't really explain it. Hopefully like the video is you know enough for you all to get how I did this but basically it's like the shape of a regular phone stand and you can just prop your phone up there and that is how it works. You don't have to let it dry or anything so it's pretty cool I think. Okay, so the next thing that you can do with your Play-Doh, I actually saw from my friend Karina Garcia. She has a whole video dedicated to it, so I will link it down below. If you want, like, more in-depth tutorial on this, then definitely go ahead and check out her video. But you can actually make some nails with this, like, for your fingers. It's actually pretty cool. At first, I wasn't too sure, but I tried it, and honestly, I was living for it. So this is perfect for, like, all you younger kids out there that... You know, maybe your parents don't want you to wear like acrylic nails or anything like that. So all you have to do is take like a small piece size of this, um, nothing bigger than your nail of course, and then just go ahead and make the shape of a nail pretty much. And um, this is cool like for pretend or if you're just playing around um, or if you just want to see like how you would look with nails pretty much. And like I said, this is not like the only step. I didn't go in depth you know for this tutorial here but I was living for it if you want to check out like the full video make sure you check out Karina Garcia's video it is linked down below I was honestly feeling myself way too much with this it was pretty crazy but it looks kind of realistic it's almost like it's just crazy it's it's sorcery is what it is to be honest I felt like the nail emoji honestly 
Okay, so for the next thing you can do with some Play-Doh, honestly, you can just use this container as a pencil sharpener. Just go ahead and poke a hole in the center of it, and then on the back side, you want to glue in a pencil sharpener that you would find in like a kit or anything like that, and then let that dry, and then you can use the actual container to hold the pencil shavings. Um, and yeah, I'm pretty sure there's a tutorial on this on YouTube as well, but it's just cool to have different kinds of school supplies and stuff like that, you know? Alrighty, so for the next Play-Doh life hack, I did not get to test this out because I don't have any holes in the wall, but you can actually use Play-Doh as spackle to kind of like fill any holes in your house that you have like on the walls. Basically what you want to do is you want to take a piece of this and you want to shove it inside of the hole in your wall and then smooth it out, make sure there are no bumps on the surface and then let it dry completely of course. And then you can just paint over it and it's like makeshift spackle almost, you can just plug the hole in your wall and it's pretty easy. Okay, so we've all been there while we're doing our homework. We just want to get it over with so fast and then we accidentally write down the wrong answer and you have a pencil that does not have a sharpener and you're like, why do I even have pencils without a sharpener? And then you're like, oh, because they're cute. But look, this is what you can do. You can take a piece of Play-Doh. I actually learned this from my friend Peter um, from Pita Bread, so I will link down his video in the description box below as well. You can take just a little piece of this Play-Doh here and use it as a pencil eraser. And as you see here, it works just like a regular pencil eraser and it will save your life a couple of times, I'm sure. Okay, so the next Play-Doh life hack that I have for you all is perfect for DIYers or anyone who just needs like a mold of something. Um, I know you've all heard of like that magic mold putty or something like that, whatever it's called, but that's pretty expensive. So what you can actually use is you can just use Play-Doh. So if you want a mold for like a candle or something, all you have to do is use the Play-Doh. So basically how I'm going to show you here, I'm going to just flatten it out a little bit so there's a bigger surface area. And then I'm just going to press this diamond right into it. Now the reason that you want to press into it and not cover it um, like the opposite way is because there will be some like air bubbles and you won't get like um, the perfect shape so this way you're insured to get the perfect shape for your mold okay so once you've got it covered it should look something like this and then you're just gonna want to let this dry and then cut a little slit down the side and then take out the actual diamond and then um, you will have it there for you. All you have to do is seal it back up. You can tape it or you can glue it and then you can pour your wax into it and you can have a diamond shaped candle. Pretty cool. Y'all, I am tripping. I completely forgot to film an outro. I'm so sorry. But I do really hope that you enjoyed these Play-Doh life hacks. While they might not change your life, they might make it a little easier, that's for sure. Anywho, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up for me and go ahead and subscribe to my channel to become a unicorn. Also, make sure that you check the links down below for Jimmy's channel and his video. Go ahead and tell him that I sent you and go subscribe to him. He's amazing. And while I do have this Snapchat filter thing going on, go ahead and follow me on Snapchat. I'm amazing. I'm just saying. Thank you all so much for watching. I love you all so much and I will see you all next time. Bye! I can't do the hand thing because I have my Snapchat thing going on. Sorry.